Uh, hello friends, I'm Dr. T, wishing you a great uh, uh, summer. Uh, today we are asking uh, three very important questions. What is killing us? What's the underlying cause of sudden cardiac death? And what are the risk factors for sudden cardiac death? We are going to end up the video with a bonus. So let's get uh, started. What is killing us? In fact, the heart disease with about 700,000 deaths per year, cancer about 600,000, COVID with 415,000, took the number three spot ahead of unintentional injuries and strokes. This is provisional data for 2021. How common is sudden cardiac death? It accounts for more than 50% of all cardiac deaths. Most of these deaths occur in people not in a high risk category. Let me repeat, not in a high risk category. And are there warning signs? Yes. And we actually, I'll put a link to one of the videos where we discussed this in a prior video. But again, just pain, shortness of breath, fainting, palpitation, sweating. Uh, but most of the time there are no uh, symptoms. And sudden cardiac arrest is the first manifestation of uh, the heart disease. Again, the majority of sudden cardiac death occur in the general population. Uh, people are not, don't even know they have heart disease. What are the underlying causes? So the underlying causes, 80%, 75 to 80% is coronary artery disease, 50% uh, cardiomyopathy, meaning weakness in the heart the muscle. And that's why you want to stay away from excessive alcohol intake because it leads to cardiomyopathy, one of the causes of the uh, sudden cardiac uh, Death. Let's get into the uh, risk factors. Let's start with uh, alcohol. Uh, heavy drinking, more than five drinks a day, leads to a ventricular arrhythmia and sudden cardiac arrest. And excessive alcohol also contributes to the alcoholic cardiomyopathy, as we mentioned. It could cause high blood pressure, it could cause electrolyte imbalance. And it's empty calories. In fact, each gram of alcohol has seven uh, calories per gram, as opposed to proteins and carbs that have 4.5. So if you want to lose weight, alcohol is not your friend. In addition, increase the risk of upper GI uh, cancers, the uh, mouth, the esophagus, and the stomach. And also, uh, as everybody knows, could damage the liver, cause the fatty liver and even uh, cirrhosis. Uh, what about uh, smoking? Smoking increased the risk of sudden cardiac death. In fact, in the Framingham study, non-smokers had about 13 sudden cardiac deaths per 1,000 patients per year. The smokers, 31, almost tripled. Why? Because they increase platelet dizziness, increase catecholamine in the heart rates, could lead to a coronary spasm, and always reduce the oxygen carrying capacity. All of this uh, decreases the ventricular relation threshold, making it easier for the heart to go into ventricular fibrillation. What about uh, stress? Uh, uh, there was an increased number of shocks in people who had implanted fibrillators in New York City after 9-11. Anger is a major risk factor. There is even a condition called Takasubo cardiomyopathy, also known by broken heart syndrome, was associated with severe emotional or physical distress, bad news, uh, fierce argument, uh, natural disaster, an earthquake, mainly occurs in women and mimics a heart attack. When we take these patients to the cat lab, we look at the coronaries, the pipes in the heart, they are open, there are no blockage. During physical restraint, assault, fighting, uh, being uh, chased, and this, some of these events occur in people under police custody. Uh, uh, it creates a problem for everybody because they think the police really caused it. There was the stress associated with this event. And what about uh, exercise? Uh, there is one in 12 to 15,000 people in cardiac rehab, one in about 2,000 during the stress tests, and the vigorous exercise uh, in the physicians have study increased the uh, risk of cardiac death significantly. Well, however, what you want to know is the regular exercise prevents ischemic induced ventricular fibrillation death and overall has a uh, very significant benefit, but there is still some risks associated with it. 
and you need to take uh, uh, some uh, precautions. Here's an example of uh, somebody who went to a cardiac arrest in my office and was successful resuscitated during a stress test. It's called a bad day in the office. And uh, what about cocaine? Cocaine increases the sympathetic tone, uh, leads to vasoconstriction, it could lead to sonic crack down. You need to stay away uh, from it. And people in dialysis, patients with uh, end stage renal disease have increased risk of sonic crack death. In fact, there's a threefold increase 12 hours prior to the next uh, uh, dialysis session. You want to uh, make sure you stay on track and don't miss uh, sessions. And in patients with uh, end stage renal disease, 25% of their deaths are suddenly. And in conclusion, the majority of sudden cardiac deaths occur in so-called low-risk people. We don't have a way of addressing uh, them because many of them don't even know they had heart uh, condition. We need to avoid the risk factors for sudden cardiac death. No excessive drinking, no smoking, stay away from cocaine. You need to control the stress. If you want to engage in an exercise program, you want to talk to your doctor or healthcare professional before, make sure it's safe. You want to start exercising slowly, and that's why it's a great idea if you had a cardiac event, a heart attack or um, unstable angina, you had a stent, uh, an irrevascularization, good idea to engage in a cardiac rehab program where you could start exercising under a controlled environment. If something bad happens to you, they can get you uh, uh, back uh, right away. And it's bonus time. Let's do uh, quiz uh, together, true or false, most of the cardiac arrests occur in uh, people known to have uh, heart disease. No, the opposite actually, most of the people have a cardiac arrest, didn't even know the heart disease. Most of the other hospital cardiac arrests occur at home, yes, about 80%, in fact, because they spend a lot of time at home. And in general, success rate of resuscitation is about 50%, not even close, 5 to 10% at best. And no risk to exercise in people known to have uh, a heart disease. There is a small risk, but the benefits clearly outweigh the risks. And heavy drinkers are at increased risk for the crack death. Yeah, absolutely. And here are some resources my website and my email. And remember, your health. It's too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Write a comment, ask a question, try to make these videos as interactive as possible. See you next video.